Welcome to Countouts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to calculate the present value of a lump sum using the financial calculator, the BA2 plus Texas instrument. Now we have done this lesson using the formula where we explained the theory well, and we have done the exact same lesson that you see here. So if you'd like to check that one out, you'll find the link in the description below, as well as other lessons using this financial calculator. So how do you do this? Well, the present value of a lump sum, the present value is obviously today, we want to know the value today. And a lump sum is a once-off amount, right? Where you put in a once-off amount. So let's look at the first example. We are told here that John wants to have 120,000 rand at the end of 10 years in order to buy a filming camera. He wants to invest in an account that earns 8% interest compounded annually. How much should he invest today in order to achieve this goal? So he wants to have 120,000 rand at the end of 10 years. Okay, so that's the future value. And he wants to invest this money at the rate of 8% interest compounded annually. Now, your calculator by default, it is compounded annually. Okay, so if you see here 8% or any percentage compounded annually, then it's easy for you to do the calculation because the compounding is already annually in your calculator by default, okay? So here is how we do it. We switch on our calculator and as usual, we make sure that we clear our memory, okay? We clear our work. So how do you do that? Well, if you want to clear the time value of money elements here, if you want to clear the memory for that, you press second function over here and then you press FV. On top it's written clear time value of money or clear TVM, okay? I like to use that, but not always. Sometimes when you have entered in the compoundings, for instance, this may not clear it. So how I like to clear it is just by resetting my calculator by pressing second function and then I press plus slash minus and then I press enter to confirm, okay? And then I press C slash C to clear my screen. Okay, so that's how I reset my calculator and I know I can start over. Alternatively, you can just turn it around and press that button where it's written reset using a pen or something a bit sharp that can go in. Okay, so now that we've cleared our calculator, let's get into the example. He wants to invest 120,000. He wants to have 120,000 rand at the end of 10 years. Okay, so we know our period is 10 years and we know it's compounded annually. Okay, so the compounding period is 10 years. So we put 10. Okay, we press the number 10 and then we press here where it's written N, okay? And you can see N is the number of compounding periods or the number of years in this case because it's compounded annually. So it's 10 and then the interest rate is 8%. So I'm just going to press 8 and then I press here where it's written I slash Y. Okay, that stands, that stands for the interest rate, okay? And then what do we have? We have 120,000 rand, but he wants to have 120,000 rand at the end of 10 years. So that's the future value. So I'm going to put 120. So I press 120,000 and then I press FV for future value. Okay. Now, what do I want? I want the present value because he's asking how much he should invest today, which is the present value in order for him to achieve that goal. So what do we do? We press here. It's written CPT, which stands for compute. What do we want to compute? We want to compute present value so we press here it's written pv okay and there you have it 55,583 rand 22 cents okay so what do you do you press cpt and then pv and then you'll be able to get your present value okay so that was easy enough let's go to the second example where you have the issue of compoundings number two over here okay before we do that let's clear our memory again let's reset our calculator second function plus slash minus and then enter and then ce slash c to clear my screen okay number two we are told here that john wants to buy a car in two years time he wants to know how much he should deposit into a fixed deposit account offering 11 percent per annum compounded monthly in order for him to buy a car worth 200,000 rand okay so he wants to invest invest for two years so that he can get 200,000 rand to buy a car but you can see here it's a fixed deposit account offering 11% per annum compounded monthly. Okay, so here you have an issue of compounding. If it was compounded annually like the first example, we do it the exact same way we did the first one. But here we are, it's compounded monthly. Okay, so that's the issue we have. And we know, and like I mentioned, our calculator by default, it's compounded annually. So what do we do? There are two ways you can do this. You can do it either manually or you can change the compounding in your calculator to monthly because by default it's annually okay so i'll show you how to do it both ways quickly 
okay so let me show you how to do it manually first if it's for two years and it's compounded monthly how many compoundings is that in a year well that's 12 compoundings because if it's compounded monthly it's 12 times per year okay so it's 12 compoundings in one year so we take the number of years which is two okay and then times the number of compoundings per year which is 12 okay and then i press equals which is 24 okay and then i press n so the number of compounding periods is not the number of years it's the number of of compounding periods like i mentioned so it's how do we get the number of compounding periods you take the number of years times the number of compoundings per year okay and then when you come to the interest rate which is 11 percent, i take the 11 and then i divide by the number of compoundings per year which is 12 and then i press equals and then i press i slash y okay so you saw for n i took the number of years times the number of compoundings per year and then for i slash y i took the interest rate divide by the number of compoundings per year and then he wants to buy a car worth 200,000 rand in two years time so that's the future value so i press 200,000 and then i press fv okay so what do i want i want to know how much it should put into the fixed deposit account today so that's the present value so i just press cpt which stands for compute and then i press pv and there we have it 160,664 and 70 cent and that is how much he should invest today if he wants to have the 200,000 rand to buy a car in two years time okay so that's how you do it manually but how do you do it where you change the compoundings in the calculator we know by default it's compounded annually so we want it to be compounded monthly so here's how you do it okay so let me reset my calculator again okay so here's how you do it you press second function and then you press here it's written i slash y because on top it's written p slash y and then we change that to 12 so we know it's compounded monthly so that's 12 compoundings per year so i change to 12 and then i press enter okay and then if i press the downward arrow you can see the compoundings per year is 12 that's what we want okay and then we press c e slash c to clear our screen okay and then now we do the calculations we know it's for two years so we press two and then we press second function and then we press n you can see that's done the multiplication for us automatically okay so it just took the two times the number of compoundings per year which we had changed and then we can see it's 24 and then we press n again to confirm okay so here's how you do it you press the number of years you press second function then you press n and then you press n again to confirm okay and then the, the interest rate is 11 percent so we're just going to press 11 and we put the interest rate as it is 11 percent because the calculator already knows it's compounded monthly okay and then the 200,000 rand we know it's the future value okay and then i press fv and then i press cpt and then i press pv and you can see it's giving me the exact same answer 160,664 and 70 cents and that is how you do the compoundings using the financial calculator and that is how you do the present value of a lump sum whether you have more than one compoundings per year or whether it's compounded annually i hope it has made sense if you have any question or queries you can leave them in the comment section below otherwise if you have gained value from this lesson please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers